So our next category this evening is the award for Outstanding Performance. And our nominees have been shortlisted for their achievements at a single event. You will recognise their names. Our nominees, ladies and gentlemen, for the Outstanding Performance for 2014 are Geraint Thomas, MBE. <laughs> Rachel James. And last but not least, Eleanor Barker. We are truly proud of them. Let's see them in action. Outstanding Performance of the Year, sponsored by S&D Sealants. Eleanor Barker, Wiggle Honda. A two-time World Pursuit Champion, Eleanor Barker competed at her first senior multi-sport event this summer at the Glasgow 2014 Commonwealth Games. The 19-year-old from Cardiff took two medals on the track, a bronze in the scratch race and silver in the points race, where she was pipped on the line in the final sprint by double Olympic champion Laura Trott. An outstanding performance for a young athlete. Geraint Thomas, MBE. Team Sky. Fresh from a gruelling three-week challenge at the Tour de France, Geraint Thomas didn't know what to expect from the Glasgow 2014 Commonwealth Games. His first test was the time trial, where he came away with a bronze medal. But it was the men's road race on the final day of the Games that Geraint made everyone in Wales proud as he overcame mechanicals and punctures and stormed away from the peloton to claim Wales' final gold medal of the Games and the first gold medal won by a Welshman in cycling in the history of the Commonwealth Games. A truly unforgettable moment in Welsh sporting history. Rachel James, Abergavenny Road Club. Rachel James competed at the 2014 UCI Paracycling World Championships as a tandem pilot to Sophie Thornhill. After just six months training together, the pairing set two world records and won two world titles in the kilometre time trial and sprint events, becoming a double world champion overnight. An incredible performance by the duo at their first world championships. We're also incredibly pleased that S&D Sealants uh, agreed to be our sponsors of this award, the Outstanding Performance of the Year. Please welcome to the stage from S&D Sealants, Glenn Mitchell, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, okay. Ooh, this is a toughie, isn't it? How do you pick between those three? Um, I'm not sure how we do it, to be honest with you. I think it's, uh, everyone's reached such high achievements that it's, uh, it's, it's beyond my possibility to pick who, who won it, basically. Um, so, I'm proud to be Welsh, I guess you are too. Definitely, definitely. I think it's um, something that I said, I can't pick who won this uh, award myself, so I think it's you know, definitely up, up for someone else to pick this uh, award and I'm happy to hand it out. Well, I think thankfully somebody has made a decision on this because uh, as you say, it's nice that somebody else can do the work on this yes, and you definitely. can get the glory at the end of it, quite <laughs> rightly, quite rightly. So ladies and gentlemen, to the winner of the 2014 Outstanding Performance of the Year, The last gold medal at the Commonwealth Games, Team Skies, Geraint Thomas, MBE, ladies and gentlemen. An incredible guy. Now, unfortunately, Geraint wasn't able to make it to the event. He's still um, competing at the moment. So please welcome to the stage the man you saw in the film at the start, the superstar of this evening. Uh, he is the head coach of Team Wales and Welsh Cycling, ladies and gentlemen. You all know him, it's Darren Tudor. Great to see you, Darren. <laughs> and don't go away, because I need to talk to you in just a second. Please also welcome to the stage one of our other runners-up, Rachel James, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Good to see you, Rachel. Unfortunately, Eleanor couldn't be here tonight because she is in comp she's competing as well. But um, we have got so much to celebrate, Darren. I mean, you as the as the head of Team Wales, I mean, basking their reflected glory, you must have been having a lovely few weeks. It was a long few weeks, but uh, <laughs> yeah, no, I think uh, we, you know, we obviously surpassed our t medal target, and uh, we were really proud of that. But I think uh, it wasn't just the medal winners either. It was uh, we had a lot of youngsters at the games this year. 
and a lot of, you know, there were a lot of personal bests, there were a lot of very good performances, which, you know, bodes well for the future for us. So, you know, the medals were absolutely fantastic, over the moon with it, but I think what we got to come is, uh, I think is just as exciting, not more. Well, that, that's great to hear. I mean, from somebody like yourself, who knows? I mean, what is it about the Welsh psyche that seems to make us so good in this particular sport? I mean, you know, they, they, there's just something about Welsh cyclists. I mean, for Ger Geraint, for example, I mean, I, I know he raced at one time with a broken pelvis. I mean, we, we're an extraordinary race when it comes to cycling. Yeah, I think Geraint is a bit of a, you know, yeah. He's a bit of a tough <laughs> one. It's not normal, is it? You know, so I think you can sort of, uh, you know, maybe sort of, use him as an, a bit of an example but I think it's the work that everyone does you know every bike rider that you know medaled at the Commonwealth Games or was represented at the Commonwealth Games come f you know started off in a cycling club you know all the coaches that worked with them throughout the system whether that was his youth you know into junior and then progressed onto the British cycling pathway what you know professional cycling teams and so I think it's that you know everyone has a role to play in you know bike riders development yeah, well, and it's developing brilliantly. Thank you very much indeed, Jochen Bauer, Thank to you. all of you for those medals. That's wonderful. Ladies and gentlemen, Darren Tudor and Rachel James. Could you just make yourself to the back of the room for a photograph? And also, congratulations, of course, to Eleanor Barker.